Hello my fellow miner. Today we are going to have a look at a completely new card, the RTX 3060 Ti. Before I go into too much detail, let's give you an introduction to the actual graphic card. Yes, it's the top series from Asus. Comes in this fantastic box, obviously made in China. Uh, the box is, well, nice I guess, with a nice LHR logo up in the corner. And it's the overclock edition with three fans. This is fantastic, right? It has been put in the corner of shame, not because it has been a bad boy, but because it's tough. With three fans, military grade. There are absolutely no thermal pads between the PCB and the backplate, because who needs that when you're tough? The overclock edition is so tough that it doesn't actually need to mention anything about memory overclock at all. The fans are so tough they come with double bolts. Yes, you heard that correctly. The fans have two bolts each. That is a lot of bolts. Military grade components. Fully automatically made because no one actually makes graphic cards manually anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, tested for 144 hours by a noob, apparently. After hearing and viewing this, you most likely imagine the new Leopard 2A7 tank, the best in the world. Military grade tank, whoa. And then you see this. Yes, that is correct. That is like taking the Leopard tank, switching out the turret with a rubber banana and calling it military grade rubber banana. They make this super awesome military grade graphic card, series super extreme gaming, and then they put poop memory in. That is pretty awesome Asus, well done, thank you. Although I'm a bit disappointed about the bad memory in the graphic card, I am actually looking forward to see what it can do. I've seen many only being able to overclock it to 900 megahertz, but I'm pretty sure I can get it higher than that because it is military grade after all, right? Anyway, enough complaining from me, I think it's uh, about time that I go through the different miners we're going to test. We're going to test the NB miner, G miner, T Rex, Lot miner, and Mini Z, all with uh, LHR unlock for Ethereum. I think it's kind of uh, exciting to to include mini set and lot miner, especially my, my previous experience with lot miner was that it was very unstable, but uh, maybe memory plays a part in that, I don't know. Let's check it out. First up is NB miner. I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory to 1050 because anything above that and it crashes horribly. It's also very important to note that fan speed should be 65 or above because at 1050 it will crash if it's like 60% or maybe even 50, it will definitely crash. If you are the lucky winner of Hynix RAM, then you would place your memory between 900 and 1050, and if you are very lucky, 1100. For those with Samsung non-military grade RAM, you can clock it to 1150 easily, most likely higher than that. I actually feared much worse than this. Now let's have a look at the result. 40.2 MHz per second at 102 Watt with an efficiency rate of 0 0.394. I wouldn't call that military grade anything, but uh, much better than I expected, to be honest. Up next, it's time to have a look at the G Miner. Again, I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory to 1050 because you can't really put it higher. I think there's a pretty good chance that I'll do a hardware mod on this graphic card to see if I can get the memory a lot higher than this because it's quite disappointing. I saw a video on YouTube where a guy he undervolted it by doing a hardware mod and he actually managed to overclock it a lot more which I find a bit funny but I'll leave a link in the description. I don't see much difference here compared to NB Miner. of course it could be because it's going very fast. The graphic card is not all bad, as you can see, it is super cool. Those double balls it has are really working. Let's have a quick look at the result. 40.4 MHz per second at 102 watts, which gives an efficiency rating of 0 0.396. The difference between NB minor and G minor is pretty much null here, and I would say they perform exactly the same. Now let's have a look at how a T-Rex handles it. 
Again, I set the core clock to 1350 and the memory to 1050. You can actually go to 1380 on the lock core clock and gain a little. I think I gained like 0 0.2 MHz per second at an increase of 3 watts, so not really worth it, but it is a possibility. Of course, if you have Samsung RAM, that difference may actually increase. And the difference here compared to the previous two is that this looks to be quite hungry. It's eating 120 to 130 watts. That is a lot more than the previous two show, but also about 2 MHz per second more. Let's have a look at the result. 42.1 MHz per second at 128 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.329. So T-Rex looks like a good option if you're going after raw power and don't really care about efficiency. However, I seem to remember them also introducing a low power mode. Now let's see how Lutminer handled this military graded graphic card. Again, I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory clock to 1050. At a glance, the performance look on pair with what we just saw with T-Rex. I was actually surprised that lot mine I worked with this graphic card considering that I have a lot of other graphic cards in this uh, PC and none of them worked for longer periods of time in, in lot miner. Within an hour or two or four or eight they will start showing zero megahertz per second throughout. It has been running for like over 24 hours now for me uh, without any problems at all which is pretty fantastic. Let's have a look at the result for Lund Miner. 42.6 MHz per second at 122 watts with an efficiency rating of 0.349. That makes it a better performer than T-Rex and more efficient at the same time. That is actually not bad for a graphic card with poop memory. Up next is Mini Zulu. Did you get that? Total military style. Again, I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory to 1050. And as said earlier, you can go up to 1380 on the lock core clock, but it will also cause some problems with the tuning. Whenever I set it to 1380, I need to retune and always at a lower rating than uh, at 1350. So 1350 is the optimal, at least for this car. Mini Zulu actually calculates its average throughout. That is very nice. It makes my uh, job a lot easier. The difference you see in wattage between uh, hardware info and what is displayed in the miner is because I start hardware info after it's done calibrating. Let's have a look at the final result. 42.7 MHz per second at 129 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.331. Mini C actually has a lot of uh, options to configure it to make it run even better. Um, I think it is possible. But the time you'll spend most likely won't make up for uh, your gains there. But definitely a minor to consider if you are going to fine tune a lot. Okay, so I lied. It is in the corner of shame because it has shameful memory performance. However, it did actually perform a lot better than I expected. And I think there's a lot of potential in it. It just needs to be modded. It's a good contender for a complete backplate mod and a change of thermal pads inside on the memory and new paste. Just to see if we can push it out of the sucky area on the memory into the nice area. You know, for science. I apologize if I seem overly negative, but when I get a graphic card with 6 military graded balls, I expected more. Uh, but then when I saw the memory, I actually expected a lot less. So you can say that I'm disappointed and positively surprised at the same time. If you're on the lookout for a graphic card for both gaming and mining, this is definitely not the one you want. Steer completely clear of Asus Tough series. It's not even worth it for gaming. However, if you can get it at a bargain deal, I think it's a good choice. Actually anything is if it's cheap enough, right? I hope you enjoyed the video and now that I have access to YouTube community features You'll start seeing pools running so subscribe like the video and if you have any friends that have this graphic card with Hynix memory Share the video help them out a bit because they really need your moral support even despite their six military graded balls See you in the next one
No, no, no. Is the mic off? Oh. Well, the only thing this card is tough on is on luck. Tough luck, dude. Tough luck. Yes, a very sad panda. Very sad. <laughs>